In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the licensing and activation tool in combination with VIPM, uh, specifically VIPM Pro. So here we have a project which contains two LV libs and uh, it has a top level VI. Let me open this top level. If you look at the diagram, you'll see that we're calling four sub VIs. Two of them are in a library that we want to license and, and protect and two of them are inside of a library that we do not want to license and do not want to protect. Now if we open up the project in VIPM uh, package builder, we'll see that um, we have our, our source, in our source in our destination. Um, here's our palettes and here we have the licensed top level and unlicensed VIs. And if we go to the license and activation, here we specify the license file location. Here we specify the library that, we'll, that we want to license and protect. Here we enable bind license to library at build time, which is a VIPM Pro feature. My product name is listed here, which comes automatically from here. We enter the password for the license file and then we have to enter at least one activation method and then in library we decided in this case to do a random password or you can specify a custom password if you want so let's build this okay so now it's built and we'll open it and install it in VIPM and uh, VIPM uh, when it does the installation it automatically registers the license with LabVIEW um, so that's all done for you. Your end user doesn't have to worry about that. If we go into LabVIEW and open up the palette, we'll see that here we have the licensed files, the top level and the unlicensed. If we open the unlicensed VI, we can look at the diagram without any protection. If we look at the licensed VI, we cannot look at the diagram because it's password protected and actually the VI is broken as well. And the top level, if we open that, we'll see that it's broken because it's not licensed. If we try to run it, it says there's a few things that are not properly licensed. So, um, let's go into LabVIEW and go activate add-ons and select to activate it. We'll use these codes and enter them into our activation software. We'll generate an activation code and then we'll activate. And it says now that the items were activated successfully. We'll finish that. Uh, I believe we need to restart LabVIEW, but uh, I'm not sure. So let's just try this and see what happens. Oh, okay, so we don't have to restart LabVIEW. So now it's activated and everything works as it should. Uh, it's still protected, um, but uh, at least we can run it and without any problems. Um, just to verify that the activation process worked, uh, let's look at, let's go back into help uh, activate add-ons. And if we look at here, we'll see that there's 30 days left in my evaluation because the evaluation code that I issued was a 30-day evaluation. Hopefully you found this information helpful. If you need more support, please use our contact form uh, on the contact page of jki.net. Thank you.